Hi everyone, this is Greg Corson. Most of you know me from my series of virtual production tutorials, but based on some of your questions, I realized that I'd launched right into the whole production process and forgot to teach some of the fundamentals. This has left a lot of you thinking that it's a difficult and expensive process, when it really isn't. Or at least, it isn't always. The laser sword effect you're looking at right now requires only a mobile phone camera and a few dollars in supplies to shoot. You don't need a computer or any special software, and you'll be able to see the effect right away on the screen of your phone or camera. This effect has been used for a long time and has been used all the way back to pre-computer black and white film days whenever they needed something to glow, pulsate, and look radioactive and dangerous. Notice in the shot how the glow from the sword leaks perfectly out through my spread fingers. All you need to accomplish this effect is some retroreflective material. Here it's a roll of plastic you can see on my desk. You can get this at most home stores and on Amazon fairly cheaply in the form of paint, plastic strips, and other kinds of high visibility safety markers. All you have to do is cover your laser sword's blade with this stuff and you're ready to shoot. Then all you have to do is turn your phone's filming light on and you'll get an effect just like this one. The way this works is the retroflective material sends any light that hits it directly back to the source. So you won't see this with your own eyes, but you do see it with the camera because the light source is right next to the camera lens. You can get exactly the same effect by putting any kind of bright light next to the camera lens or directly behind the camera shining forward. My sword is yellow because the material I had on hand was that color, but if you use white retroflective material, the sword will be whatever color your light is, so if you change the color of the light or turn the brightness up and down, the sword will appear to pulsate and change colors. If you want to do a quick test run to see how this looks, you can use any kind of high visibility safety vest or even a bicycle reflector or an old license plate. You'll see a lot of tutorials on how to do this on YouTube using video editing and effects software, but this one is nice because you don't need any of that and you can see the results right away. There's no need to animate a glowing blade frame by frame, which can be quite tedious. They actually used this method in the first Star Wars movie and later added some digital effects to it to make it look even more dramatic. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at an effect you can do cheaply and easily at home. In the future, I'll be explaining other visual effects fundamentals like force perspective and entrance pupils that'll be useful when you start doing virtual production or other kinds of effects. Be sure to check the description of this video for more information. Please press the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more, and uh, feel free to leave questions in the comment section. Just remember, you don't always need a lot of experience and expensive equipment to do cool effects. I hope you found this interesting, and we'll see you next time.